Hello everyone. Welcome to Mutobis Mshongos Mathematics and Physical Science YouTube channel. And today we're looking at a paper from the Northern Cape, which is a control test for Term 1 for physical sciences. And our focus today will be on question 2, which is none other than Newton's laws of motion. Now, Newton's laws of motion is applicable to also grade 11 students. But here in grade 12, the main focus is Newton's, uh, the combination of all Newton's first law, second law, and the third law, and the new additional one, which is Newton's second law of uh, motion in terms of momentum when it goes to impulse. But in this question, we find a question whereby we have a light inelastic string. That means the, the string doesn't move back and forth that is connected to two wooden blocks of masses 1.5 kilograms and 2 kilograms respectively. And if a force of 8.25 newtons is applied on the 2 kilogram block as shown above, the block moves towards the right at constant velocity on a rough surface. Okay, before we can get into what is happening in that scenario, we we'll go straight to question 2.1 that says state Newton's first law of motion in words. Right. State Newton's law of motion in words. Newton's first law. Well, Newton's first law of motion states that a body. Will remain at rest or will remain in its motion at constant velocity unless an and zero result in force. It's an non-zero resultant or net force. Acts on it. That means a body will remain wherever it is unless someone comes and applies a force or it isn't a change in force, basically. All right, we go back to check what do they want in 2.2? So now 2.2, they want a free body diagram for the 2 kilogram box. All right. We'll have the 2 kilogram box and we'll draw all the forces related to it. 2.2. So start by a dot for the free body and then our famous normal force that is perpendicular to the surface and gravitational force and then there is a force of 8.25 newtons acting at um, 20 degrees from the surface and then there is a rope that causes tension and we can go back to the question here they mentioned that there is a constant velocity i mean the, the block is moving the blocks are moving at constant velocity on a rough surface now it's not smooth therefore if it's rough then it means it has frictional force and since it's moving that is called kinetic friction and the marks say that you get one two three four five for a free body diagram right 2.3 calculate the magnitude of the normal force acting on the 2 kilogram block the magnitude of the normal force right now that's 2.3.1 before calculations you need to redraw because we have a diagonal force acting at 8.2 i mean with a magnitude of 8.2 newtons acting at 20 degrees so we have to redraw 
or free body diagram to include the components since we have an angle there. So that's FG, and then that will be tension, that will be FK, and then that will be the force which is acting at um, 20 degrees, it's X or horizontal component, and it's Y component. How will that help us? So that we can see, we're looking for the question 2.0.1 says the magnitude of the normal force. So we're now focused on only the forces acting here in the y axis. So therefore, we'll start by saying this F net equals MA. They mention constant velocity. Therefore, our acceleration is equal to zero, and therefore, F net is equal to a zero. So the forces that are acting, the object is not going up, so we'll just choose up to be positive, which means Fn plus Fy minus Fg will be equal to zero, such that our Fn plus Fy will be the Force 8.25 multiplied by um, sine of the angle 20, which will be minus mass times gravity of uh, the 2 kg box. So it's 2 times 9,8. And that is all equal to a 0 such that Fn is equal to the 2 times 9,8 if we take it across the equal sign minus 8.25 sine 20 degrees and we get a magnitude of 16.78 newtons for the normal force Lastly, 2.32, calculate the coefficient of the kinetic friction between the blocks and the rough surface. So both of the blocks are feeling the same kinetic friction because they are in the same surface. So in 2.32, we'll have to do a calculation for two kilogram block first, of which we know all the forces acting on it. Uh, which are here above. So now we have all the components. Uh, it's Fx to the right, and tension to the left, and Fk to the left. Now Fx will be the positive one, tension and Fk will be the negative ones when we do our Newton's second law by saying F net is equals to mass times acceleration, and our F net will be equals to a zero because there is constant velocity. And therefore, this will be Fx plus a negative tension plus a negative kinetic friction, which is equals to a zero. We are having tension here, but we are not asked to calculate tension. So we might single out the tension because the tension is the same. So that we have Fx minus uh, fk is equals to attention right if we can check our fx is a component of 8.25 newtons multiplied by cos of 20 degrees minus fk which is given by mu k times the normal force we just calculated the normal force right but this is all equals to tension. We just calculated the normal force in the previous question and we found that, okay, when we multiply 8.25 with cos of 20, we get 7.75 minus, the normal force we calculated was a 16.78 multiplied by, mu k will be equal to tension. 
so we have two unknowns there and we cannot go any further so let's have a look at the 1.5 kilogram block with the 1.5 kilogram block first thing first no more force we have to draw a few body diagram fg it is experiencing kinetic friction and a tension go to the right so if we take that action to the right to be positive our f net is equal to ma and acceleration is zero therefore f net is zero such that tension here will be positive minus fk which is equal to zero in such a way that our tension will be equal to the fk but fk here is governed by mu k n and fn for the 1.5 uh, kilogram block fn is equal to fg now fg is equal to mass time square root which is equal to 1.5 1.5 times 9 comma 8 and when we multiply that we get a 14 comma 7 newtons so that our tension will be mu k multiplied by 14 comma 7 we have two tensions today we have this first one so we'll name it equation one and the second one such that equation one is equal to equation two and therefore when we equate those two we get the first equation is a uh, 7.75 minus 16,78 mu k so 7.75 minus 16,78 mu k is equals to 14.7 mu k right we'll take mu k I mean 16.78 mu k to the right so that we left at 7.75 is equals to uh, 14,7 mu k plus 16,78 mu k then when we sum this up we get that it's 7,75 is equals to 31.48 mu k and we divide both sides by 31.48 then we get that mu k will be equal to Let's check calculator. That's zero comma two five. Zero comma two five. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and please like, share and subscribe.